It ain't right to put them with the others. We ought to put them somewhere else. I didn't think much of the idea, but Luther had ordered Cat for dinner, so we had to bring back Cat. We had one or two in the back when Simon found the litter of albinos behind the supermarket wall. Simon was just scooping them up into a shoebox when I saw the mama cat come around the corner. I didn't say nothing because normally, you didn't expect no trouble from them. Most of the animals have been pretty cautious since the war, except when they're desperate for something to eat. This old mama cat was just plain mad. That'll teach you. It was Luther's fault that Simon was the kind of person who'd do such a thing. Simon didn't used to be that way. He even saved my life once, right after we'd raided that one stockade. Mostly a bunch of middle-aged holdouts who didn't put up much of a fight. Oh, please don't. But Luther was throwing his weight around as usual. Luther, we gotta get out of here! Wasp! I don't know what made those wasps so big, but they wasn't the only things that started growing larger after the war. It was just one more thing to make life rough for what few of us was left. I figured I was done for when I tripped. I told him to go on, but Simon stopped and pulled me up. You gotta save yourself! I twisted my foot. I'll hold you back if you don't let me go. Keep running. <sighs> Finally, the wasp was gone and we could get out. We got to stick together, Christian. It's the only way we're gonna survive, by sticking together. Simon wasn't the same anymore. He'd gotten used to the way things were, and they wasn't too pleasant. You coming, Christian? I couldn't take my eyes off the kittens. They hardly had their eyes open. Christian, come on! We was almost to the edge of town when we saw it coming at us. Oh, shit! <laughs> I was hoping the cats would get away while Simon caught his breath. <sighs> But they didn't. Simon whistled our theme song as we approached the house to let everybody know who we were. I should have whistled too, but I couldn't. My mouth was too dry. Oh, Simon and Christian are back and they've got something. We better go tell Luther. Yeah, Luther can wait. Maybe I don't want to wait. Honest Luther, I was only kidding. <laughs> In the future, save your kidding for somebody who appreciates it. Now let's go see what Simon and the kids brought us for dinner. So the mighty hunters have returned, and for their own sakes, I hope they bring us cat. Brought more than that, Luther. Take a look. <sighs> What is it, Luther? I didn't want to watch no more. Where to, Christian? It's your night for kitchen chores! No, it isn't. It isn't my turn. I guess you weren't here when I announced the new schedule. It's your turn, all right. <laughs> I knew it wasn't no good to argue, but I also knew that I couldn't do it, no matter what. I just wouldn't be able to do it. That little bastard! I'll get him. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Christian, but I had to do it. He was gonna shoot. You got a hell of a long way, didn't you, Christian? I don't know what to do with you, Christian. You just haven't got the group spirit. <clears throat> You're right about that, Luther. I don't belong here at all. And neither does Simon. We're leaving, and you ain't gonna stop us. You're wrong, Christian. I'm staying here. We'd never be able to live out there, Christian, not by ourselves. You see that, don't you? You see why I had to stay here. I'm... I'm sorry, Christian. Then I'll go by myself. And I'll shoot the first person who tries to come after me. We going after him, Luther? Oh, no. Forget him. He'll never make it out there. He hasn't got a chance. He'll be back in a week begging us to take him back in. 
You'll see. Well, the gang's grown a little bit since I left it, but things don't seem to have changed much. I imagine Luther still misses his pistol, though. They didn't think I'd be able to survive out here, and I almost didn't at first. But I don't worry about it much anymore. Not since the kittens grew up. They were slow to get started, but once they started growing, they just didn't want to quit. Like the wasps and the rats, I guess. We get along fine, the cats and me. And one of these days, we're gonna show Luther just what became a Christian and his kittens. We'll show him good. Cool.